abilities, wither under criticism, they blossom under encouragement. Act enthusiastic, and you will be enthusiastic. All men have fears, but the brave put down their fears and go forward, sometimes to death, but always to victory. An hour of planning, can save you ten hours of doing. An old man was asked, what had robbed him of joy in his life? His reply was, things, that never happened. Any fool can criticize, condemn, and complain, and most fools do. But it takes character and self-control, to be understanding and forgiving. Are you bored with life? Then throw yourself into some work you believe in with all your heart, live for it, die for it, and you will find happiness, that you had thought could never be yours. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Become genuinely interested in other people. Believe that you will succeed, and you will. Cash can buy, but it takes enthusiasm to sell. Check up each week on the progress you are making. Ask yourself, what mistakes you have made, what improvement. What lessons you have learned for the future. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. Do the thing you fear to do and keep on doing it. That is the quickest and surest way ever yet discovered to conquer fear. Do things for others and you'll find your self-consciousness evaporating like morning dew. Don't ask a man, what is important to him. Watch how he spends his time. Don't be afraid of enemies, who attack you. Be afraid of the friends, who flatter you. Even God doesn't propose to judge a man till his last days. Why should you and I? Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. Every day, is a new life to a wise man. Face the thing, that seems overwhelming, and you will be surprised how your fear will melt away. Fear doesn't exist anywhere, except in the mind. Feeling sorry for yourself and your present condition, is not only a waste of energy, but the worst habit, you could possibly have. First ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? Then prepare to accept it. Then proceed to improve on the worst. For better or worse, you must play your own little instrument, in the orchestra of life. Forget yourself by becoming interested in others. Do every day a good deed, that will put a smile of joy on someone's face. Get the facts. Let's not even attempt to solve our problems, without first collecting all the facts in an impartial manner. Good leaders are scarce. So I'm following myself. He who treads softly, goes far. I can look back at my own life and see, where a few words of praise have sharply changed my entire future. Can't you say the same thing about your life? I deal with the obvious. I present, reiterate, and glorify the obvious, because the obvious, is what people need to be told. If we speak poorly about that, which we do well, people will assume, we perform poorly. If we think happy thoughts, we will be happy. If we think miserable thoughts, we will be miserable. If you are wrong, 
admitted quickly and emphatically. If you argue and rankle and contradict, you may achieve a victory sometimes, but it will be an empty victory, because you will never get your opponent's goodwill. If you believe in what you're doing, then let nothing hold you up in your work. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something, instead of lying there worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the lack of sleep. If you do something for someone else, never remember. If someone does something for you, never forget. If you must make a mistake, make a new one each time. If you want to be a good conversationalist, be a good listener. To be interesting, be interested. If you want to conquer fear, don't sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. If you want to keep happiness, you have to share it. Improving yourself is a lot more profitable than trying to improve others. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. Instead of worrying about what people say of you, why not spend time trying to accomplish something they will admire? It is the way we react to circumstances that determines our feelings. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing, that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about. It isn't work, that makes you tired, it's your mental attitude. Keep your mind open to change all the time. Welcome it. Court it. It is only by examining and re-examining your opinions and ideas, that you can progress. Knowledge, isn't power, until it is applied. Learning, is an active process. We learn by doing. Only knowledge that is used, sticks in your mind. Life, truly is a boomerang. What you give, you get. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people, who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. No matter what happens, always be yourself. Nobody is more persuasive than a good listener. One can win the attention and time and cooperation of even the most sought after people by becoming genuinely interested in them. Our fatigue is often caused not by work, but by worry, frustration, and resentment. Our trouble, is not ignorance, but inaction. Pay less attention to what men say, just watch what they do. People, aren't interested in you, they're interested in themselves. People do things for their reasons, not ours. So find their reasons. People really succeed, unless they have fun in what they are doing. Perhaps, you will forget tomorrow the kind words you say today, but the recipient, may cherish them over a lifetime. Remember, happiness doesn't depend upon who you are, or what you have. It depends solely, on what you think. Remember, that unjust criticism, is often a disguised compliment. Remember, today is the tomorrow, you worried about yesterday. Success in dealing with people, depends on sympathetic grasp of the other person's viewpoint. Success is getting what you want. Happiness, is wanting what you get. Take a chance. All life is a chance.
The man who goes farthest, is generally the one, who is willing to do and dare. Talk about your own mistakes, before criticizing the other person. Talk to someone about themselves, and they'll listen for hours. The essence of all art, is to have pleasure in giving pleasure. The life of many a person could probably be changed, if only someone would make him feel important. The man, who starts out going nowhere, generally gets there. The most important thing in life, is not simply to capitalize on your gains. Any fool can do that. The important thing, is to profit from your losses. That requires intelligence, and makes the difference between a man of sense and a fool. The only way on earth to influence other people, is to talk about what they want, and show them how to get it. The only way to get the best of an argument, is to avoid it. The person, who seeks all their applause from outside, has their happiness in another's keeping. The successful man will profit from his mistakes, and try again in a different way. The way to defeat fear, decide on a course of conduct and follow it. Keep so busy and work so hard, that you forget about being afraid. The world is filled with interesting things to do. Don't lead a dull life in such a thrilling world. The world is so full of people, who are grabbing and self-seeking. So the rare individual, who unselfishly tries to serve others, has an enormous advantage. He has little competition. Three-fourths of the people you will ever meet, are hungering and thirsting for sympathy. Give it to them, and they will love you. Today is life, the only life you are sure of. Make the most of today. Today is our most precious possession. It is our only sure possession. Today is the only time, we can possibly live. Try on is to see things, from the other person's point of view. We move toward, what we picture in our minds. When dealing with people, remember, you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but creatures of emotion. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us, power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. When we have accepted the worst, we have nothing more to lose. And that automatically means, we have everything to gain. You can conquer almost any fear, if you will only make up your mind to do so. For remember, fear doesn't exist anywhere, except in the mind. You can make more friends in two months, by becoming interested in other people, than you can in two years, by trying to get other people interested in you. You can measure the size of a person, by what makes him or her angry. You never achieve success, unless you like what you are doing. Your smile, brightens the lives of all who see it. Take charge of your attitude. Don't let someone else, choose it for you. If you got it, ask yourself why, and try to repeat the action. If you failed, ask yourself why, and try to learn from the experience. Let the winds of enthusiasm, sweep through you. Live today with gusto, 